Hi, my name is Michael Anderson. I'm CEO and co-founder of Etail Solutions. And first of all, thank you for taking a few minutes here today to learn a little bit more about what we do. My goal here over the next few minutes is to, to take you through at a high level uh, what we do for our customers and how we can help you solve some of the pain that you may be experiencing in your multi-channel business. So let's dive in. Uh, first of all, I wanted to just kind of uh, get you familiar with the concepts behind the, what we call the three-legged stool, which is in, a, in the multi-channel world, uh, we oftentimes deal with automating the sales channels, uh, the supply channels, or supply chain and catalog automation, and then tying everything back to the financial system. Uh, we have connected these three different legs of the stool, if you will, via our platform, which deals with all of the communication and automation that happens between those different entities. Um, so first of all, let's talk about sales channels. Uh, most of our customers have come to us uh, because they've, uh, they're have they experiencing volume-induced pain. Uh, most of our customers are, are shipping anywhere between a few hundred up to uh, thousands of orders a day, and they've kind of reached their limits in their current environment, oftentimes because they're dealing with multiple systems and trying to cobble those together. Um, so what we've done is kind of created a single approach to dealing with all of those problems. On the sales side, we deal with managing a single SKU across multiple listings, and that could be on the same sales channel. It could be across multiple sales channels. Amazon has what they call the Amazon standard identification numbers, and uh, we all know that there oftentimes are many listings for a single SKU on Amazon under different ASINs. We deal with all that very elegantly. All of the information about a product is channel record specific, so different descriptions, different pictures, different pricing, different competitors. And we deal with, uh, with that in our competitive repricing engine as well. Um, and then also dealing with things like shipping overrides and tracking the attributes and uh, dealing with inventory publishing and uh, you know, how much to publish of my own inventory versus my supplier's inventory uh, and so forth. We deal with all of that. We also then handle the full order life cycle uh, of dealing with those orders. So whether you're dealing with um, products that you internally fulfill or dropship or crosstalk or FBA, we handle that uh, that whole process and then turn around and, and where necessary, uh, send back the tracking information to the sales channel so that that customer can be notified of the shipment. And then we also have a settlement processing tool. And the settlement processing tool allows us to be able to reconcile um, the activities that have happened on a sales channel down to the penny in your, we, we create holding accounts for each and every sales channel. And specifically with Amazon, we can handle the XML settlement reports that come and uh, deal with all of the different types of charges, whether that's you know the, uh, the payments for the orders or the FBA fees, commission fees, uh, uh, promotional uh, fees, gift wrapping, all of the, the little things that come, even, even just your uh, monthly bill that comes for your Amazon account, all of that gets reconciled be a number of different types of transactions within the financial system down to the penny in the holding account prior to transferring those funds over to your uh, actual checking account. So you can tie out your cash and all revenues and expenses are recorded in the appropriate general ledger accounts as well. So you get channel level uh, profitability out of that. So the second type of integration that we deal with is uh, we call it catalog and supply chain automation. Uh, the catalog, there's two different types of integrations, the catalog and then the transactional. The catalog is really anything about the products, and the supplier may give us a catalog of 20,000 items, for example, and that's going to include descriptions and images and UPCs and shipping weights and attributes, uh, categories, all of that information about the product. And we can dynamically manage the creation and the um, inactivation of all of those products in your catalog uh, on a per supplier basis. Uh, we also then, as a part of that, can deal with availability and pricing feeds and, and then the downstream effects of how we deal with that information when we publish out to sales channels and how you leverage that information from your supplier to uh, assist with your competitive repricing based upon really the latest pricing and, and availability information from that supplier. From there, we also then deal with the transactional automation, uh, specifically for dropship business models and cross-stock business models. Dropship is, uh, you know, the order is going to come in from your sales channel. We automatically send over that order uh, electronically to your supplier to fulfill to the end customer. They're going to send us back the tracking information and also ultimately a supplier invoice. Uh, we're going to send the tracking information back out to the original sales channel and the invoice is going to go into the financial system 
to become an open accounts payable item so that you can uh, pay them based upon whatever your terms are uh, with that particular supplier. Now we can do that via a fully functional EDI subsystem. Uh, if we need to, we can do it with flat files. We can do it with uh, web services. All of that's really just kind of the plumbing. The criteria there is that your supplier can do that electronically without human intervention and that they can do that, uh, you know, just hands off, which is, which is really what we're striving for. And that takes us to the, uh, I'm sorry, the third leg of the, st the stool, so to speak, the ERP system. Uh, now, we leverage the ERP system that's already in place uh, by adding a number of multi-channel specific um, features and functionality on top of it. And that allows you to manage your products across the multiple sales channels and also to deal with your supplier-based availability and your purchasing uh, and doing that all in such a way that it honors your, your financial system. We come from a very heavy background of, of working with ERP and business systems and so we approach this from that perspective outwards and we really believe at our core that everything needs to honor the ERP and all revenues and all expenses need to be tracked uh, otherwise you lose that visibility to where you're making money and that's ultimately what we need. So we leverage the ERP to do that with the tools that we've built and that includes setting up the ERP to honor channel specific information so when an order comes in we set up uh, the, the customer using a customer class template which inherits all of the appropriate general ledger accounts and so on and so forth so that at the end of the day we have really everything tracked on a per channel basis that includes the settlement and financial reconciliation I discussed earlier as well as giving you then the level of reporting that you need uh, to track profitability by order by sales channel uh, etc all the data is there at that point so those are the three legs of the stool now what we get into next is really uh, once those pieces are in place or whichever pieces of those that you need we get into how do we help you scale and so we've built a number of different tools uh, uh, to help our merchants scale to that next level and one of those is the transaction manager and the transaction manager allows you to deal with the different types of fulfillment that need to happen in this space so internal fulfillment if you're stocking a product uh, drop shipping cross stocking and ultimately even FBA uh, all of those different uh, fulfillment methods have their own set of, of workflow and um, we deal with that via hold codes and allow you to manage orders either one by one if you want to but uh, more importantly in batches based upon orders that meet the same criteria so you can um, highlight all the orders that are ready for picking for example and print a pick list or you can um, highlight all of the orders that are ready to ship and just automatically send a batch of a hundred or a thousand orders over to the shipping solution and then have the ability to have those be rate shopped, have the, uh, the shipping label printed along with then the picking list. And so, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, the, the packing slip. So all of that can be automated uh, at very, very high volumes and it really allows our, our merchants to be able to, to handle um, handle levels of orders that they really couldn't uh, couldn't handle previously. So after the orders are fulfilled, of course, then we're publishing tracking information back out to the originating sales channel and republishing availability, and that's based upon the filters that you've applied. And and uh, uh, as such, you know, if you want to publish only a percentage of your total inventory or percentage of a supplier feed uh, out to a sales channel, or use mins and maxes. All of those are tools that we've incorporated into this platform to help multi-channel merchants uh, protect themselves from overselling and to really maximize their business. So that's really what we do at a very high level. Thank you again for taking the time to, to listen to this. If you've got any questions, we'd love to chat with you and hear a little bit more about your situation and talk about how we may uh, be able to help you. Feel free to reach out to us uh, via the information on the screen here, and we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks much.